Good morning. Thank you for coming. Last week, the American Correctional Association held our 149th Congress of Correction, our annual conference here in Boston. And our presence in this city was greeted with campaigns by several local activist groups who disrupted a Red Sox game, blocked ordinary street traffic, and even attempted to attend our awards banquet. So we've called this press conference today because we wanted to address this on our own terms. To those who took to the streets last week, we say we do hear you, and we understand how much courage it takes to stand up for what you believe in. The ACA was founded 150 years ago by a Christian minister named Enoch Cobb Wines, and he stood up for his beliefs. He devoted the last two decades of his life to prison reform, to improving the lives of prisoners, and eradicating the abuses of the prison system, right up until his death here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. We are the inheritors of his legacy, but to be perfectly honest, we haven't always remembered that. One of the difficulties we navigate is that we're both a professional organization and an accrediting body. In other words, our $9 million of revenue is dependent on accrediting fees we collect from our own members. Our bottom line depends on the very entities we're evaluating. It's why Judge David Bazelon resigned from our board of directors in 1982. In his resignation, he bluntly asked, how can the commission in good conscience represent itself as independent and unbiased while being financially dependent on the objects of its scrutiny? It's a good question, and we don't have a good answer for it almost four years later. Being under such enormous pressure, both financial and political, has encouraged us to cut corners, and for this, we apologize. Corners should not be cut when human lives are at stake. And lives are at stake. We accredited the Otter Creek Correctional Facility despite the rampant sexual abuse that ultimately caused its closure. We accredited Idaho State Correctional despite multiple federal investigations into violence and fraud. And now, we're accrediting the detention centers run by Immigration and Customs Enforcement. ICE is incarcerating refugees in violation of our nation's laws, which require that children be held no longer than 72 hours. And throughout all this, they are holding detainees in physical conditions that fall very short of the standards we claim to uphold. And therefore, it is with profound seriousness and humility that I announce that the American Correctional Association is revoking its accreditation of ICE's detention facilities. And further, we will not renew the accreditation of any private prison facility upon its expiration this year. It is time for us to return to our roots, to the purpose of bettering the circumstances of those held within our penal system, to reform injustices, not perpetuate them. Or as Reverend Wines might have put it, to proclaim release for the captives and good news for the poor. I think he'd be proud of us today. Thank you. I will take a few questions. Oh. Oh. Um, you in the back. So does this mean the camps are shutting down? No, no. The ACA is an independent nonprofit. We're not a government regulatory body, so we don't actually have that ability. We hope, though, that our government, both state and federal, will take this as a as a motivation to do some rethinking. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. What do you think the financial impact will be on the for-profit prison industry? That's a good question. Honestly, not much. Prisons make a lot of money. Uh, the Geo Group, I think, reported um, $2.3 billion of revenue last year. And I think people will be excited about it. You know, the ACA is not a faith-based organization, but most of us in the prison industry are Christians. And Jesus told us that we can only serve God or wealth, not both. Okay, that's it, everyone. More information and a press release will be, will be more information. Please go to AmericanCorrectionalAssociation.org. We will have a press release up later today. Have a good day. Mr. Miller, wait.